Hey, you got the Boston Trucker with you. I don't know if you caught my last polishing video. Metal polishing in a flash. Well, that company was called Infinish, and they were nice enough to send me three bottles of their polish to try out. I'm walking backwards, trying not to bang my head. What an idiot. It's the kind of stuff you gotta do when you make videos, though. Uh, the green stuff, which I used in my last video, metal polishing in a flash, it was more for a final finish polish for tanks that had already been buffed or polished. And the stuff's fantastic. Now I have these wheels right here on my trailer. As you can see, they're not in the best shape. They, they're kind of rough. They really need to be sanded down. And that's the good wheel. The rear wheel is really rough and scratched and pitted from little dirt and rocks that get in it from the gravel pit. Plus when I'm dumping, I'm not really a good driver and I get rocks and dirt on my wheels. Yeah, so today we're gonna try these polishes and see how they do. All right, and then afterwards I will leave in the description how you can get some, if you wanna get some, all right? And let them know that the Boston Trucker sent you. All right, let's get at this. oxidation and fine scratches from factory polished metals. Works on aluminum, copper, and brass. So let's get the gloves on. Get my, uh, my latex gloves. All right, open up the cap. Let's pour some onto the pad here. Beautiful. Here we go, here we go. Voila, all right. Polish with the grain of the wheels. Now from where I'm sitting, I can definitely see it's getting shinier. Now like I said, these wheels haven't been done in over a year. They haven't been sanded since we bought the trailer four years ago. Uh, do the inside of the uh, rim first and then I will uh, we'll wipe it off together. See all that black that's coming off of it? It means it's working. All right. I should have some kind of music right now while I make this part of the video. But Just about done, so hang in there. You could even forward it if you had to. But I might say something really funny and then you'll miss it. All right, here we go. Let's get out the microfiber. Give me a couple microfibers. You can never have enough microfibers, by the way. Nice blue ones. To fold it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna bring the camera over in a minute so you can get a better look, okay? Definitely doing a nice job. Paulus just did. All right, this is the before side. This is the after side. Can you see that? It's polished from here to here to the inside real quick. Beautiful shine. Big difference between this and that. That's before. This is after. And what I did was, I used the red first, 
which is the pre-cut. Then I used the blue, which they call billet. And then I did a green. I'm not sure if that's how you're supposed to do it, but that's what I did. These were the results. By hand, took me about 10 minutes. So I would give infinish.com a rigorous two thumbs up. I also like to say, I love the packaging. It's very beautiful. Now, if you want a polish that smells good, this isn't the polish. If you want a polish that works good, this is the polish. Flash. Pre-cut, billet, green. Infinish.com. And they've got all kinds of products on there, not just polishes, by the way. Tell them the Boston Trucker sent you. Then you have your wheels looking like this. Boston Trucker out. Thanks for watching, everybody.